Hey everybody. Yo. Come yeah. on in. Come on in. We're getting started. Oh. Hey everybody. Top shelves in the building. Yeah. Already. Hey Marky Mark. Hey Fem Bella. All right. Look, y'all coming in early. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm in the building. Move. In the building, y'all. Move, move. Let me tell you how this man annoyed my life right before coming on live. Tonight we're talking about relationships in honor of him. In honor of him annoying the crap out of me before we got on this live, we're going to talk about relationships. Yes, we are. Okay? Because I'm putting him on blast. We here. Hey, guys. Welcome. Share this with your friends. Um, Jay said daddy and mommy. Hi, boo-boo. <laughs> oh, my baby. Um, but, yes, take your time now. We're going to give you a little time to share this with your friends. Come on. Man. Um, no. It is the race. The weight loss race to Christmas. So, we're still doing healthy foods. Yeah. Um Tonight we're doing a load of salad, so go ahead. Share this live. Sharing, share sharing. this live. You sharing too, babe? Yes, sir. You're not even big tonight. George, are you sharing? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Bird gang. You know what? Yes, sir. If I didn't want your view, Jeff, I would tell you to get out of here. Because <laughs> I just... Uh, it's the Ayana gang. How about that? Let's, let's Yo, do that, my I guy, George. A share... My drink, it don't go. They don't share to people? No, I don't know. All right, bad. so it's up to you guys to share because he's trying to share. He's a great husband. Yes. Hmm. All right, so I see your people in here trying to defend you. Either. Let me tell you what he did, though, right? I did nothing. Let me tell you before we even get I started. I did nothing to all right, you know what? All right, let's do our official um, greeting. Hey guys, welcome back welcome to back to our Sunday dinner with the Lovebirds. The Lovebirds, okay. Weight loss race to success. It is weight loss race. The weight loss race to what? To success. It's to Christmas. Yeah, but we want to be successful. Okay. And the weight loss to Christmas. Okay, so um, let me tell y'all why he annoyed me. Um, I feel like, how long have we been together, babe? Do you know? Long time. A very long time. And I feel like I'm at the point where I do not like petty arguments. I just like to have good conversation. And so we were having a conversation earlier mm -hmm. about, um, we we're having a conversation earlier just like about like dating and marriage and sex and like the importance of it all. Mm -hmm. Let me get that hot. <laughs> Look, Scully's coming soon with GB Apparel, but... We're going to wait for that. But anyway, so we're talking about, you know, like sex and like what's more important in marriage and relationships, right? And so basically, I'm just asking questions just for his point of view and not really to go back and forth. I just want to know like his perspective on certain things just before I like, you know, chop his neck off. I just want to see like, how do you feel about like sex? Like what is your importance? What is the importance of dating? What if the person said that dating is more important than sex? Are you selfish? Like, these, these are the kind of questions I was asking. When I'm telling you, he has a problem with, ask, with answering direct questions. Um, and he goes off into his world of how he wants to answer. And so we were just, like, bickering back and forth because he decides that he want to answer how he want to answer and not answer the question that's being asked of him. So if y'all have a significant other that does that same annoying thing, just let me know in the comments. Let me know. Listen, we was having a, a healthy conversation, a healthy debate. And that you made I, real toxic real quick. I was, I was keeping a, a, a good tone. Bing bong. <laughs> like, bing bong. Okay. My tone was A1 in the conversation. It's not about your tone. Because my tone was fine. We was having a good debate. Okay, thank you. You want a front for the cameras. But anyways, guys, so how you want the man to answer? I want him to answer hey. the question, hey. not whatever he hey. wants to make I up. Hey, I understanding going on. All right, anyways, so tonight, 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 let's get into the food really quick before we continue our conversation. We are making a loaded, a loaded, loaded. salmon, salmon, taco, taco, salad. 
And are then, you know, what are you making? You know what I'm making. I'm pulling up with the margarita. What kind of margarita? Peach. All right. Bing so, bong. Bless your life. <laughs> bless your life. Bless your life. But anyways, um, welcome everyone. We are making our loaded salad. So, why is it loaded, right? Because we don't just do regular salads. We are not animals that graze. Oh. So, <laughs> so, we like to, you know, fill up with some good stuff. So, our base, um, I, or I think we prefer, I don't know, how do you feel? Because I prefer kale salad. Like, I don't yeah. like any other kind versus. of salad. Oh, okay. Like, versus, like, the, like the romaine regular. lettuce. That's cool. I don't yeah. like the regular lettuce. No. Well, I, I yeah, a kale salad is my A1, so we're having kale salad, we're having kale salad tonight with, um, there's going to be, um, you know. The carrots in there, like shredded carrots. The works, the works. Yeah, all the works are in there. Then there's gonna be some cranberries, right? So we're loading it, right? So there's gonna be cranberries, nuts. We're also gonna put some street corn in there, street so corn. it's gonna be like roasted Fresh corn. I want to like beat him up because <laughs> anything he says right now is annoying me. Put the knives away. Lord, yes. So. We're gonna have the corn, right? We're gonna have the corn with cotija cheese, um, which is really, really good, guys. Like, don't sleep on it. So, it that's called? gonna be cotija. See, si, mommy. <laughs> so, we're gonna have the corn, right? So, that's like another level. And then we're gonna have some tortilla chips, right? And that's like our taco. And then we're gonna have a pico de gallo. Pico de Gallo. And uh, that is usually Delicious. really bomb. I love a pico de gallo. We're gonna have some good salmon on there. Uh, we're gonna have an aioli, a chipotle aioli that I already um, made here. Um, what else is going on this? And then we're gonna have some cheese, like bing listen, bomb, listen, watch loaded. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start really, really quick. Um, we're gonna start with a pico de gallo. And so I'm basically using my recipe for my shrimp tacos. So if you guys want to go on the website, lovebirdskitchen.com, um, I have shrimp tacos there. And there you'll see the recipe on how to make the cotija cheese. I mean, the street corn with the cotija cheese, the pico de gallo, um, all of that is really, really good. You put um, lime so, in the chip? Huh? You put lime and salt in the Yeah, did that already. So right here we have one of the best smelling herbs. Cilantro. Cilantro. Uh, all right. But yeah, back to relationship stuff. This guy, man. Throwing this out? No. How much do I want? She Who else loves cilantro? It smells so good. Do I want to do half or? So I'm just going to like roughly chop this up. It doesn't have to be too small. How is your day so far? Have you guys oh, had a God. wonderful Sunday? What? Did you guys go oh, to church? church? How was dinner? I know some of you guys ate already. Um, we're on here pretty late today because this guy decides that um his job want to make him get out of this time. But yeah, I know some of you guys ate, but this can be some inspo for Taco Tuesday. And it's oh, Tuesday. So for Taco Tuesday. And instead of just having tacos, let's have a taco salad. <laughs> Can I kill you on live? Like, is that, is that okay? <laughs> you ever try to, like, like put away the, the anger that you... <laughs> what is that? Your weapon of choice. <laughs> Your weapon of choice to defend yourself. But y'all ever, like, you know... Okay, so I'll, I'll say this, right? Over the years with George, I've learned to let things go. And that's what I'm trying to do. Because it was always a thing where I can hold a grudge for days. And it's not good. It's just, it's just not good. And so a part of like not holding grudges and stuff anymore, it's just like I try to, if they're not serious and you know they don't matter enough to be so angry about, I try to release that anger, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. But his voice in my ear makes the little devil on my shoulder want to... Can I holler? Can I holler? Can I holler? 
And I'm like, ha 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 You do this alive. You know you Listen, might die. So if I die, y'all watching, call the cops. Someone please call 911. Tell them George We're died on live. No. Can, can we come back? And he can't scream from hell. Okay. So, anyways. Roughly chopping my cilantro. And we're going to put everything in this bowl right here. My nice oh. handy dandy bowl. So I'm going to roughly chop the cilantro because the first thing we're doing is pico de gallo. I think the anger is almost gone. <laughs> but our topic tonight that we're going to like have a brief conversation because it was brought up when I was talking to my good friend um, yesterday. Our topic tonight is going to be... Um, well, I mean that I'm just like, this introvert married an extrovert. And what that means and basically, like, the dynamic of... Thank you. <laughs> and the dynamic of our relationship being an introvert marrying an extrovert. And I guess some would say that I'm not fully an introvert, which I'm not. I feel like I'm an introverted extrovert, meaning that I can full well in certain situations um not get overwhelmed with people and have social anxiety but it does take a lot out of me and then sometimes i prefer to just be alone um but this one right here is a social butterfly so social butterfly. in that topic this is a great topic yeah because it's just like i feel like these aren't the things honestly when we met cilantro roughly chopped these aren't the things that when we met um i considered actually i feel like there's a lot of things when you meet someone you don't fully consider because you're just in bliss you're not like really looking at certain dynamics which you should um if i can like do everything over i feel like i would pay attention more to the not so apparent things right um while dating but but is, is that is that like a thing? Like, oh, what? I want to marry an introvert. I want to marry a. No, I feel like it's not a thing to say. Oh, I want to marry an introvert or an extrovert. But it is something to pay attention to because now you know. Um, what you're gonna get? What you're gonna get into for the rest of your life? <laughs> Honestly, it's just like, what am I what actually? Expect. Yes, what to expect? All of that because it's just like, am I prepared for the rest of my life? Because some people have like really bad social anxiety and they're like super introverted. So it's just like, am I prepared to like be in that situation and fully give? Am I taking something away from my spouse by being? Um, by like robbing him of him being extroverted and wanted to yes i am yes you are okay t t tell him about it <laughs> talk get it off your chest so yeah we'll be at like events or whatnot hold on before you get there yeah. when you met me yeah what was your like what was basically like your thought when it comes to like going out or like being around people did you consider anything like oh, okay like did you observe how I operated with people? Like, was that something for you? Like, to see, like, mm. how I, like, how does she act around a group of people? Like, things like that. I feel like I, I picked on, uh, I caught on to it. But, like, when I would, like, say we went out with, like, my friends, mm -hmm. you would just want me to, to be with you. Right. And that turned into not taking you nowhere when I want my friends. Yeah, we'll be chilling. Yeah, babe, whatever. I'll be right back. I'm going to say, what's up? Where you going? Where you going to be here by myself? Uh, whatever. So now I got to run over there. Whatever. And then come right back. Bro, I ain't, I ain't come on into the party to just be with you. Like, you here. I'm not going to leave you forever. But but you know what's going to happen now? I'm mingling. And she in the corner. Looking like she, she, she lonely and, and single. Like, are you in a corner being single? Like, first of all, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. You made me sound like I was like this mopey shadow. Bro, no, when you okay. by yourself, you don't know on your phone. Here's what it is for me, right? In situations like that, all right, we put we cut up our red onion that goes in our bowl. Ooh, looks so pretty. Genital. Um, hold on, but yeah, so we cut up our red onion. So we have red onion and cilantro. 
Um, now we're going to dice our tomato. So yeah, so here's what it was for Pop me. Um, I feel like there's a difference between, um, with my personality, there is a difference between going into newer situations than going into comfortable situations, if that makes sense. So obviously, if I am comfortable in the situation and he goes off to mingle and greet every damn person, I'm okay. But you said... Oh, I used to bring you around my friends. Mm -hmm. I don't know his friends. I don't know these people. I'm also a very observant person. Um, I don't trust people easily. Trust issues, man. Ain't about trust. No, I don't trust people easily. Um, and what it was, was basically like, okay, I'm in a very new situation. I just need you to cover me. That's how I looked at it. It's just like, don't leave me high and dry like a little hyena around some lions. Like, we came into this situation. How about you bring people towards me, make me comfortable. Um, hey, this is my wife. Have the conversations with me there. Like, not, oh. Oops. But yeah, not, oh, um, oh, let me go say hi to this person. No, bring them. Make me okay. Make make sure that I'm comfortable. And that's, I think, oh, is what I was. Why you say that? Because. Well, that's no head or there. You was just leaving. It's too late now. What's now you don't get invited. Deal, baby? But yeah, so let me see what Jen is saying. Let me see. Hey, Todd. All right. So Jenna said. All right. My partner is extroverted and I can often feel like I'm ruining his time because I'm introverted. It's helpful to have extroverted partners who are empathetic to social anxiety. So that is what I want to get into. I feel like to me, it's not a problem to be extroverted. What I would prefer, and you guys could say if you think it's selfish or not, um, what I would prefer is to have some awareness on how your partner feels. Because I feel like at the end of the day, who you going home with? Yeah. So, you want to take time to mingle and, 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 yeah, and greet this, everybody? I see, I see you <sighs> Wait. when I get home. So, you want to take your time to do all of that, leave me high and dry, not even realize like, hey, should I even... Because the thing is, it's not just all going... Include me then. Make me feel like I'm not left alone or whatever. And then let's, you know, go about that situation that way. But I feel like it is very much about having awareness. Like, are they comfortable? Because they mean something to me. They're important to me. And so they are my first priority over whatever the hell we are doing. And I think that is what I was wow. looking for. You still it. Oh, yeah, you can just dab it up. Yeah, I think I was more looking to just be a priority and yes it could be selfish of me to just stay in the corner but i feel like it was also you to set the tone and include me so do y'all think i'm being like selfish about that whole situation or do you think like it's valid how do y'all feel about social anxiety being an introvert or an extrovert all that good stuff let me know so we have tomatoes pico de gallo Red onion. What I'm gonna do now? Hey, you got in there? I'm gonna. Nah, that's a pico de gallo. Yeah, red onion, cilantro, and um, and tomatoes. I'm gonna put yeah, yeah. some lime. I'm also gonna put my pickled jalapeno. Ooh. We're gonna add some black pepper. Where's my black pepper? Ayo, me. Can you go get it, please? We're gonna add some black pepper and a little bit of salt, we kill it and that's gonna be our pico de gallo. So let me go ahead and do that. But yeah, tell me how y'all feel about that. Is it selfish for, or like, is a an introvert ruining an extrovert's um, good time? Because the thing is, y'all brought us out, and do you not know me? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, do you not know me around new people? I think that's what it is. Do you not know me around new people? So, um, all right, squeeze a lemon. What did I say? Some of my pickle jalapeno. We're just gonna take a couple of these because they're really, really spicy.
Yeah, but let me know. Let me know if I was wrong, if what? Maybe I should have stayed home. Because the thing is, I am a good time. And I feel like um, people get the impression that introverts aren't a good time because we're just, they, like the the view of an introvert is these people that just stay home on the rock. That's not it. If you know me, like if you know know me, you know that I am far from staying home and wanting to be on the rock. It's just the it's how much energy that you have to like exert being around certain people. And them having to understand that this is a lot for you. Not that you're not a good time, if that makes sense. Um, Jen said, if you're introverted and have social anxiety, you really have to center yourself and ground yourself before going into a social setting in addition to communicating with your partner. Yeah. Basically. So, babe. Mm -hmm. If I had communicated to you mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. hey, like, you know, being around people is weird. I mean, which I have. I think I didn't in the beginning. I'm not going to front. Um, I did it in the beginning. But I'm not really okay being... Oh, guys, look at this. I'm going to put my black pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some salt. Some adobo. But yeah, if I had said to you, hey, I'm not really okay like being around certain people. So when we go out, can you just spend a little time with me? Um and just like let me warm up. How would you have taken that? No, be honest. It's a good question. Be honest, how would you have taken out? Um, would you be upset and be like, ah, oh, stay home? Would you be like, oh, they don't come out then? Like, honestly. Nah, I feel like I wouldn't say don't come out then. But I feel like I would just... The thing is, it's just like, I probably would have been like, with you and then be like, can I go now? Kind of thing. It's like... Y'all see the real him? Is this enough time? Like... But, or maybe I would have... Um, I would have... Um, came back quicker or something like that why isn't your solution to make me feel like i said the, the, the point was to warm me up why isn't your solution to like bring your friends around me here this is my wife um what? well i guess I, have, I didn't do that in the beginning so i'm not gonna do that but Ooh. 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 i don't want to eat that it's really good pico de gallo done okay so we're gonna put this to the side what we're going to do next, I am going to cut up my salmon. And we're almost done. Like, that's how these things flow. But the conversation is good tonight. Um, oh, yeah. So, right. Yeah. Um, you know, you was talking. You was asking a question. Why is something? Yeah. Why isn't your thing to be like, okay, let me make the star of the show. And not necessarily like that. But my wife, right? We're bringing her. I'm bringing her into a new situation. Yeah. She communicated that she's not comfortable with new people mm -hmm. so my goal tonight is to make her comfortable so that we both have a good time why wouldn't that be an option um maybe it wasn't a, it's not an option because well if i i wasn't thinking about it because i'm not used to it right maybe you're not if you're not used to it and sometimes we need like um examples so if i'm not used to it like, say, if somebody just used to being by yourself and they just like, okay, I got somebody, but they're not, they're not, um, as friendly as I am. So, just like, go, maybe I just had to think a little harder. Yeah. That's all. But that's why I, I, I tell my friends, you know, it's good that you have these conversations or even, not even have conversations, but be around other, um, couple. like, couple friends and other, um, married people who are that way. Now you got something to reference, you know, like, oh, you, you, when y'all have a conversation, I could be like, yo, bro, this, that, and third, and he could be like, oh, yo, or not even he, or he or she could be like, yo, I understand. So I'm just cutting it up into chunks. Because, um. That's how we're going to cook it. Because, um, you know, I went through that too. Or I get it because my girl or my man or whoever is the same way. So 
that's why we gotta have conversations with with each other, so we could um you know share each other's experience. Mm-hmm. Jenna says sometimes we don't know that we have social anxiety, which is true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I get that you don't know, but then what about? It'd be the same way where we don't know how to act. The thing is, I feel like, and guys, let me know if I'm off. I feel like people treat um, people that are introverted or on that spectrum of being an introvert like we have a disease. Mm. I feel like like it's a disease. It's just about knowing how to respond. Because like you said, I could be mad and just be like, oh, you just want to go and never do nothing or whatever. Or for instance, my thing is, you don't go nowhere with me. But no, I say you don't go nowhere with me because you be judging people and you be stink faced and mm, this who your friends. Mm, I don't want to hear all that. You stay home now. Like, <laughs> why you in the you stink faced and no. I, I'm supposed to be. That, it, anyway, oh, she lying, she lying. So then that's TV. your other problem. You need better friends, sir. She lying on TV. You need better friends. Anyway. And the thing is, I don't stink face people. I. I observe people's character. All right. And if your character, first of all, you should even want to hang around people with bad character. See, you stay home. Let me let me enjoy myself. Like, with why, bad character people? Don't worry about the character, people character. The people them character. What do you mean? You have to worry about people's character nah. because they're a representation of you. Nah. And birds of a feather flock together. And honestly, nah. um, yeah, birds of a fe- feather flock together. And um, if that's who you are, then yuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I. Oh, I'm just trying to have a good time. Like you over here getting deep into friendship, babe. I'm a good time. <laughs> all right, I'm a good yeah, time, and I have our, great character. Our, we ain't all about you. Now you're making it. Oh. A... I'm okay. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you making it about you. It ain't about you. So, but, yeah. I feel like. All right, so boom. I feel like every body's situation is different, but. Um, as men or as uh, women, whoever's, um, you know, having these issues, we need to, um, come up with better solutions to include your, uh, significant other. Significant yeah, other. Right. Rather than leaving them home or, or, or maybe catching Or leaving them in the corner in the chair or at catching a party. catching the attitude about it. Or yeah. the person that's... There. I feel like an attitude should never be... Um, a reaction or, to an introverted or, person. Go ahead. The introverted person mm-hmm. should be like, let me come with you. Like, don't just be in the corner like you. Come up with some ideas. But it's just like, okay, my thing is, have you ever suffered from anxiety, babe? I don't think you have. I don't know. I feel like you you only suffer from anxiety when it comes to money, not people. <laughs> but anxiety like- is a thing, so it's not as easy said to be like, oh, let me come with you. That's the whole point. The whole point is just like, oh my God, like I'm now I'm going to have to either like put on or have all this energy yeah. just to introduce myself and hi, my name is and this is not and carry on a conversation. So we just got to try a little harder because if, right. if you don't know and I don't know, you know, obviously things going to go left. So I feel like on both sides, I'd be educated or the person that's an introvert could be like, you know what? I have anxiety or whatever, and like, what, what you mean? Oh, you know, I when I get around people, uh, well, that's what I said. I, I, I always communicated, but Jen said our society has a bias towards extroversion. Th- you know what? Our society has an, a bias towards extroversion, um, bright light, rose colored glass wearing people. Um, I think some, that's just. Some of the stuff. <laughs> um, I think that's just what society could digest. Society cannot digest um, realistic, um, realistic um, situations, situations um, real emotions, um, not being okay with every damn thing in life. Like, and that's okay. Like to not be okay with everything that's happening in the world. <laughs> like you know. So it's just like I don't have to like everyone. I also don't have to. Go to a party and talk to you. I can go to a party and enjoy myself by myself. And if I want my husband next to me, I can do that as well. And it be okay. And it be like, oh, why is she oh, you over there a in a corner? See, look. Why am I being a weirdo? 
No, I'm gonna say I would say that so people could say that like all oh, Yeah, that's a, and that's the problem. Why is it a weirdo to be yourself? If myself is not as social as other people, why is but that even being called you, a weirdo? If you come to a if you go to a party and it's just you and your man and nobody know you, okay, cool. Yeah, obviously gonna be by yourself. But then if you go to a party where like say it's like a um, a party, party, whatever the case can be. Cover why would you? Why would you um just want to be in a corner with your man? And that's like the point of going to a party with people that you know is to mingle. So just like like you go to Thanksgiving. That's not the point, but... Well, it would be nice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if you go to like Thanksgiving then, uh, with your family and and it's you and your husband, and the whole time you just sitting there, just sitting talking to your man. Mm -hmm. What's up with you? Like, that's you another got... thing. Jen said, "I'm sorry, babe." Jesus befriended all types of people, especially the people who didn't align with his values. We have to be okay being around people who don't share our values. Preach. Right. And so, it's just like, there should be no judgment on, like to piggyback off of that, there should be no judgment to like, oh, she's stuck up because I'm trying to talk to her and I have all of this energy and I have all of this, all yeah. of this, and she's just... Um, like she's not giving me the answers I want or the, the energy I want back or anything like that. And I'm just like, but who are you to judge? First of all, you don't even know why I went through today. So back up Two, um, what if she has social anxiety? What if she has like, pro like the thing is you don't know. So sit here and just be like judging because she's not like you or he's not like you. And, um, they don't want to have this full blown conversation about their life that clearly I don't care about. Um, why, why, why do I now become a weirdo or stuck up or stush or all of these things? But yeah. Ooh, so, right. Todd, Todd, Anthony's best friend. Okay. Yeah. He was like, George is right. At the family party, only talking to your husband or wife is different. What do you mean? You got to mean. It's different as in like bad different or it's like. Bad different. Um. Uh, it's not only talking. I feel like you're not y'all not getting the situation. It's not like only talking, but it's just like not only leaving me by myself. Like you came to the party to leave me. Well, no, but I'm just saying. Exactly. In general. There's a balance. It, there should be a balance. All right. Really quick. Pause the conversation. All right. So we have our cube salmon, and now we're gonna go ahead and season. The ancestors are doing it tonight. No yeah. measurements. No so measurements. cayenne pepper. Why my cayenne pepper not coming out? All right, so we got some cayenne pepper because we need spice in our life. I can't wait. We have a little black pepper because we still need Cleanse a little bit more spice in our life. Make it a margaritas. We need a little bit of adobo to add the salt from earth. The salt from earth. <laughs> <laughs> we need some garlic. Garlic. We need some paps, paprika. We need some parsley. I understand that too. There's nothing wrong with that. You if you bring your wife to a party and you know she's introvert, help her feel comfortable. That's literally it. That's it. Like that's it. Yeah, and the last I, thing that we're going to add... I understand that, but you know we... Right, but the thing is, y'all are selfish, and let's just call it what it is, right? We're going to call a pot a pot. We're going to call a selfish man a selfish man, and the what fact that... What about the selfish woman? Let me know how I'm selfish. <laughs> it's not oh, That's next to We're adding some Old Bay. Y'all know that when it comes to seasoning anything um, seafood, we use Old Bay. Yeah, Sponsor me. But yeah. And we gonna, we gonna put some Old Bay in that. Yeah. All right. All that seasoning done. And we're gonna get into that and do our good nah, massaging. Like, it's just, you know, um, the extrovert needs to be educated. And. And what? Have I thought, empathy. And, well, in general, ways, that's what you, that's the education part. Just be educated on how to, you know, handle things like that. Because some people might do it. I'm sure some people do it. It's just uh, people like George and other people just got to know 
um, you know, what to do. And to care. It's all about caring. Care. I feel like when you care about somebody, uh, you move word. mountains. So the care word. Yes. Because the thing is, regardless of how I would feel in any situation, I would want to know that you're good regardless. That's just how I feel. But, you know, everybody's not like me. <laughs> oh, everybody's not like you. <laughs> what it is? What's up? George gonna make we be making this song. Oh wait. You coming around My now? friends, here is our seasoned salmon. Do y'all see that good seasoned salmon that's gonna be all mm -hmm. over our salad? Mm -hmm. So also. we have our seasoned it. salmon that I'm about to cook right now. We already have our chipotle aioli. We already have our pico de gallo. Now I'm going to go to the stove because we are going to make our street corn and our salmon and literally put the salad together. Yeah, like, olive oil? that's gonna be it, yeah. Olive oil, my butter. Um, but yeah, so we're almost done and you guys could get to the good part, which is the peach margarita. Hey! But let's go to Yo, the we gotta, stove. We gotta speak Spanish today. So use all your, all your real Spanish. All right, so. <laughs> See, I don't know. Somebody in the comments, who knows how to say, I'm going to go cook my salmon. <laughs> like, I don't know how to say that, but um, I'm about to go cook my salmon. Okay, so I gotta reach around and grab y'all real quick. All right, what are y'all saying? Let me see what y'all saying in here. I understand that toy in it. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, Jenna or her husband. Being empathetic to your partner's social anxiety helps build trust. Absolutely. And guys, I'm not being like biased or anything that Jenna says because that's my boo. I'm just letting y'all know that it's facts. It's just, I think these are like the bases for... I think these are the basis for relationships in general. It's just like, we got to care about another human being. And if yeah. you're not in the business of caring for another human being, you don't need to be in a relationship. That's just how I feel. Hey, you got to learn. Right, and it's about learning, but it's also about, I feel like the learning should have come with and you know what? No, I guess I can't say. I, should, I was going to say, it shouldn't come with such like annoyance annoyance and headache behind it. Like, oh, I have to tend to you or oh, I have to do this. It's just like, no, if this is the person you choose, you're, you're making a choice to having to deal with whatever they come with, right? Mm -hmm. What if I was like sick and I had disease and you had to like take care of me? It's just like, oh. I have to take care of her. Yeah, but that's like, something you, know, you learn off the back, though. No, but it's just like, well, that's like anything. It's just yeah. like, this is what I came with, right? This is who I am. Yeah. And so, therefore, it's either you can work with me or not. All right, work so my pot is on medium heat. We are on medium heat, and we're about to cook this salmon. This salmon. Do y'all say salmon or salmon? Or I feel like that was question. right. <laughs> that's a good salmon. Question. I say salmon. Do isn't it spelled the same? All right. If y'all are still with me tonight, put some salmon in the comments. How about that? Let me see that y'all here. Y'all paying attention. You in this good conversation? Put some salmon. I think they got some salmon emojis. Put some salmon emojis in the comment. Let me know who's here. Who is still up tonight? George is here. Alright, so what I'm going to do, you guys know, the concoction is always olive oil and butter. That is always my base. So we're going to drizzle. That was more than a drizzle. That's okay though. Uh, we're going to drizzle our olive oil, and then we're going to put at least a tablespoon or two of some butter. And we're going to let that heat up, and then we're going to put our salmon in there. Okay, 
Hey, Zaka. All right, I see the, the little emoji salmon coming through. They outside. They outside. But yeah, guys. But yeah, I feel like relationships in general. Um, hard work. They're hard work. Absolutely. Hard work. They hard work. Absolutely. Probably one of the hardest things we'll ever do in life is to interact with another human being. That's not like you. That's not, yeah, there's no one that's, that's like exactly like even twins, you know what I mean? So I think like the hardest thing to do in life is being open to learn another human being and, yeah. and being accepting yeah. and, and learning communication. That, to do that too. Yeah. And for my daters, these are things to pay attention. How does, I feel like, <laughs> Is it too late? Can I can I kick him to the curb? But how do you just like observe how does he treat you um, in public situations? And all right, we're not gonna blame him and be like, okay, maybe he doesn't know. How does he treat you after you communicate what your thing is, right? So I'm not bringing, bringing nobody up. I'm not bringing nobody up. I'm just saying we all got to be aware and intentional about our relationships. Oh, this is heavy. What's up? Oh, this is heavy. Yep. Yeah. I need you to work out for me. Whew. All right. So my salmon is gonna go in here. And uh, what's really about to happen, I'm going to try to get everything to the bottom. I didn't want to use a bigger pot because it's not that much salmon. But yeah. Salmon going to be delicioso. You know that. What's the Spanish word? Oh, say, si sí, papi. Si sí, papi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to have this salmon here. Cooking. I'm gonna cover it. I want all the juices to flow all in each other. Have mm -hmm. a good time. Sounds um, sexy. It is very sexy. Sound over like here, you know what? I'm actually gonna switch burners. What you doing over there? Now we're gonna make the corn. Can you drain the corn, please? Drain the corn, no So yeah. So our salmon is cooking. I'm gonna let that take its time. And now, on this side, we are going to roast pan, roast our corn, and then we're going to add some butter and some cotija cheese, and then George is going to take over Either with the peach margarita. The bartender. Yes, the bartender. How do you say bit. the bartender? That's what he did. That's actually what he did. What George um, did? George laughs, sounds like the Spanish grandpa yes. on the Proud Family. The legit. That's the thing that? Right, Poppy. Yeah, Poppy. That's legit yeah. what he does throughout the house, guys. Like, no lie, he does things like that. Like, it will be mad random, too. But, yeah. So, we're just going to put a little olive oil. We're not going to... Yes, I was trying to figure out where that laugh was from. <laughs> but, um, we're just going to put olive oil, no butter, because we're going to add the butter after. Um, when I also add the cotija cheese. No, if I, if I could see Spanish... I would treat you like, 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 um, like, like how you treat sugar mama? Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd be cursing me out. <laughs> you'd be like, no, you talk like that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to just let this oil heat up because we're really just going to hand roast. So I need to learn another language. So I can talk crazy when you get mad at me. Mm -hmm. But guess who's still going to curse you out in English? So I'm that gonna, everybody uh, understands. Uh, guess, <laughs> guess, who's, guess who's still going to curse you out in English? Like, it don't even nothing. matter. It don't even matter. Do what you do, boo. Do what you do. Because you're really going to get this English curse out at the end of the day. No, no way around it. All right. She got it. All right. Our... Oil is heat up. Now we're gonna go ahead. Done up. We're gonna flatten the corn. Ooh, we're gonna make popcorn, girl. No. Get some popcorn. 
And we're just gonna let that roast. That's it. And you guys gonna see it's gonna get nice and charred on the other side. So what's gonna go in this? We're gonna put some butter, we're gonna put some paprika, we're gonna put the cheese in there. That's the whole situation. Goodbye. All right, our salmon is over here. Looking good, looking good. All the juices are flowing. All right, so now it's party time. Babe, party you ready? Time. Babe, ready? If you're not ready, you're not ready. Un momento. All right, he said, un momento. Un momento. <laughs> but, hey, girl. Un momento. Look, my book club is in here. Hey, how? My vase is in here. How? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Talk about how. I say how. I didn't say you said how. Well, I said. Ow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you're so annoying. I can't take it. I really can't. But yeah, so earlier we were talking about relationships, um, being an introvert, marrying an extrovert. What does that look like? Um, our dynamic, mm -hmm. like what does it mean? You know what, even getting into that, I'll say what I did learn because Jenna had mentioned earlier, um, she feels like she like interrupts or stops her partner from having a good time. And I felt like that before. It's just like, I know he wants to be out there. I know he wants, you know, to be in the crowd and have a good time and dance and do all of that. And so here comes the compromise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll join him. Mm -hmm. But that's what I feel like. I felt like because he didn't know the seriousness of my intro extrovertedness, it's just like, oh, now she's deciding not to be stuck up and have a good time with me, she should do this more, and not realizing that it was more, wow, she's compromising. I'm being aware that she usually doesn't like this, but she's doing this because she loves me. Yo. And I feel like that's, that's the, that's the, that's where you should be, yeah, that's the understanding that you should actually have. My husband and I are both introverts, but I actually have the desire to socialize at times, and then I crash. Can we talk about it? Any introverts in here, let me see you raise your hand. How about we get some emojis? Can I see some, like, nah. face hidden among a monkey emojis for all of my introverts? Let's talk about exerting, a, like, so much energy into, like, social situations and people, and then after, like... <laughs> You go to the bathroom or you leave, you get home and you're just like, oh, oh my God. You talk oh about them on the ride my home. God. And you talk about them on the ride <laughs> home. Like, do you know she was talking to me for Daddy. five whole minutes straight? Like, damn. Daddy. Yeah, that's normal. Look. I will actually want to make the drink when you finish because okay. I want you to do your little, uh, your little sugar. All right, gotcha. Sugar drink. All right, my introverts are in here. Yeah. My introverts. My dog got. <laughs> so what's the emoji for got. extrovert? Whatever you want. And you know what? If put the party. In... Put the put the disco man. Yes. If you're an extrovert, put the disco man emoji. The one that's like that. Put the disco man emoji in there. The one that want to be a poppy show and the center of attention all the damn time. Yes. Put your little disco, the disco oh, man in there. Girl, you put the disco lady. I mean the dancing lady. The dancing lady, right, with the red dress. Ah, where they at? Don't leave me hanging. Right? Where's where's all the ex the extroverts? <laughs> ah, you see your friend? Damn, I'm by myself. <laughs> You're the only extrovert tonight? No. I feel Man. like Teray is the extrovert. Is she still in here? All right, let me see. Oh, this salmon is looking good. It smells good, too. Mm -hmm. I went out every Saturday for like a month and a half, and it was way too much for me. But that might be me being too introverted. You know what? Tell me some introverted stories. Tell me some things where you were just super exhausted. Also, um, Leandria said, I saw Becky the other day, bought cookies from her, and wanted to tell her I was from book club. But I chickened out. <laughs> Come on. Man, you must have a good conversation. <laughs> Can you imagine? 
Well, I know you, girl. Exactly. I just want me to know each other. That's your home, girl. Let me, let me get an extra cookie on the side. Okay. So you missed out on extra cookies, girl. No, but you see, even in situations like that, I would see people hey. that I know. I would literally see people that I know, and I would run the other way. Like, I'll be with George. Say, we're walking somewhere, and I'm just like, I know her. Let's go. Like, I would be like. Nah, I do that, too. <laughs> when, I, when I see the, yo, like you dropping corn, buddy. It's time to go. Dash. I do that, too, when I see that corny people. That was you with the cute baby. Ah, now they know each other. <laughs> All right. So, the corn is doing its thing. That's what I'm talking about. I got it's one person seven. with me. My man, my man, a dog. Okay. <laughs> Not you calling him a dog. That's a dog. Ooh. Oh my goodness! You have to eat it. <laughs> so I don't go to waste. Are you crazy? Uh, for, oh, you have to eat it. How are we gonna get it? You piece of tongue with something, buddy. When you finish, I guess I'll take it out. Okay. It's lost. It's for the streets now. Yeah, it's for the streets. Basura. Next time. Yeah, that was me. Don't burn the corn. First of all, we're pan roasting it. So we're looking yeah, for a little so char. Jay wants some corn. Yeah. Huh? Jay wants some corn. Jay said corn. <laughs> yeah, it's my... Y'all saw her my nephew. Yeah, corn up. He love a corn, okay? I Cold, that corn, that corn going down. Right, like literally, I would buy the corn. I mean, fresh corn. I don't even get a chance to hey. cook it. And he's just like, um, and he's just like, corn, corn, and then get mad at me. I'm like, but it's not cooked yet, so you need to have patience, sir. Don't be one of those men that don't have no patience. <laughs> I don't have patience for food. But yeah. So tell me some stories. If you guys are in relationships, right? Where you are the introverted or he's the extroverted or vice versa. Or you've dated someone that's like that and how did it make you feel. All that good stuff. Let me know. Alright, it's starting to brown a little bit. I don't know if you guys see. It just looks really yellow on camera. But we're getting some color here. And that's what we want. We want some color. The salmon is almost done and it looks so good. It smells even better. I dropped it all on the all on the stove. Any stories, any fails with relationships because it was just too much for you? Even if it's not a relationship, even with friends. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about being in a friend group mm -hmm. and the dynamic is not over oh, all in introverts or we're all extroverts. Like what about that? And communicating to your friend. Because I feel like it's different when it's someone that you're intimate with versus a friend. And so how do you communicate to a friend that might be introverted or extroverted that you are in fact that? Don't you have an extra line? You broke your line? You go past me? Okay. Alright, our corn is done. Yes, it's done. It's done. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bowl. It's done up. It's done up. Alright, babe, you can take them back around. Hold on, hold on. All right. What is this accent? Hold on, hold on. I'm a, a Jamaican Spanish person. C. Si. Jamaican. Permiso. Okay. Hold on. You gotta put it back up. Oh. Okay. All right. Do you guys see my corn? Smoking hot top. Fuego, fuego, fuego. What's wrong with you, sir? Fuego, 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 so let's fuego. see what's in the comments. All right, so I was talking to this guy on a dating app and never met him because I didn't want to go out. He's married now. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't mean to laugh. It was just the he's wow. married now. <laughs> it was the he's married now part. 
But you see, so is there a con to kind of being an introvert? Like, I feel like there's a point where we need to kind of put ourselves out there, even if we don't feel like it, maybe. Or maybe he wasn't the one for you. But no, you, he didn't even get to know you because you didn't want to go on a date. So he's married now. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Todd wants me to, to never talk to people. <laughs> Look, so is Todd an introvert? Like, does he like to socialize and stuff? Or does he think that you're too extroverted? Like, what is the dynamic with that? Um, all the above for me, so I'm, so I'm the problem. <laughs> uh, I actually lost a friend because I was an introvert, and she wasn't. Um, it was my fault, though. I didn't try to compromise at all. Every time she wanted to go out, every time she wanted to go to social events, I would say no. Yeah, so I'm seeing cons of being an introvert. I feel like there are things to work, I think, on both sides. Like, introvert or extrovert, I feel like yeah. there needs to be a common ground. Because we're going to deal with human beings, right? Because we're in this world and we're not living by ourselves. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like both, you need to know how to compromise, literally, for both. Like, extroverts need to know From this, that... This Just doing that. Don't burn it. Don't burn it. Extroverts need to know that, hey, you know, I kind of got to um, look out for my introverted friends, make sure they're okay. And then us introverts need to be like, okay, how much, how much is my battery life right now? Like, how much mm -hmm. energy do I actually have? So you, in my turn, no? No. Oh. How much do I actually, like, have? Oh. Um, can I do this? You know? So, yeah. So now, here's what we're gonna do really quick. Thank you, can you open that? What do I need, my paprika, where'd it go? Uh, behind you. Oh. That, nope. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put some butter, paprika, and some koteha cheese. Koteha. Press my butter, please. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna put our paprika in this one. All the dishes, I don't chop. I think a compromise needs to be made in any relationship, honestly. Yeah. So of course, that's that's part of you know um, dating. We the same, but he boring. <laughs> Communication is key and compromising. Yo, I guess yo, it was yo. interpreted. Hold on. You got a guy I on guess you. it's it was interpreted as me not wanting to hang out with her, but I used to get anxiety in crowds. Did she know? I'm curious. Did she know that you were this way or did she just feel like that? Um, wow, facts. Hold on. I think it's because I trust everyone and he's, it's because I trust everyone and see the good in people. I want to know their lives. <laughs> um, I'm not for the streets. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Wait, hold on. He said something about being for the streets. Extrovert females are for the streets. Too friendly. I'm done. Hey. I am so done. <laughs> not him saying that you're for the streets. You need to give him licks. How about that? Not for the streets, though. All right, so I put my butter in here. Um, Like I said... We're gonna get some smoke mm. in here. Some smoke? Yeah. We're gonna add some smoky flavors with the paprika. You know what? I want a spoon. Pass me a spoon, baby. Trust you, spoon. Yeah. We're gonna add some smoky flavors and then. Mmm. It smells so good. I could eat it just like this. All right. And then we're gonna take our cheese. Right, and we're just gonna crumble it. Cause the cheese oh, is I very crumbly. crumbly. Yeah. There's gonna be parts in too. Then mix so something good. and put it in. Um, put some cotija cheese in it. Mm-hmm. Mucho caliente. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> That's what he used to say, right? Mucho gusto. Oh, uh, pop, poppy. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna stir in that cheese. Oh, this is so good. We're gonna take a taste. You gonna take a taste? Hell yeah! You know my thing is corn. Oh, what's 
side. Yeah. Um, little meringue. What how you say? Meringue? Yeah, meringue. <laughs> we can put a little bit more cheese. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Hey, babe. Bussin. Babe, you want to taste it? Of course. And do your little dance, do your little dancey dance? Of course. Y'all watch this. I think it's because, okay. So I have something to say about that. Well. Is it a thing? And maybe we could take a poll. If you are introverted, is your problem trust? Besides having a lot of energy to deal with people, is one of the factors maybe trusting people? Yeah. You're saying, yeah, I'm talking to my introverts. Babe, tell me that's not bussing. And it's going to be on the side. Oh, turn, turn off my um, thing. Turn off my salmon, it's done. Um. <clears throat> Guess what I got? Jesus. Jesus is in this. Amen. He is like all up in All Jesus. up in here? He put the salmon in there. With all of his juices. And I'm out of here, y'all. George is about You're to not come. out of here. Make your sugar rush. George is about to come with that, with that good good. Let me clean my area. And he's going to come hot, hot, hot. with the drinks. But for those who are joining and late, we are making a loaded um, salmon taco salad. It's going to have some pico de gallo. It's going to have some street corn in there. We have our tortilla in there. It's a kale salad. What else we got in there, babe? We got some aioli. We got some cheese. Like, it's a whole situation that's happening. And I'm basically finished everything. George is about to make a peach margarita. All right. And we're about to literally um, plate this. And it's a vibe. It's literally a vibe. It's our weight loss race to Christmas, and we're doing it the right way. Ain't nobody. Do yes, no, sir. Ain't nobody do Buy no that crazy. down, baby. Get him a look. Ooh. Y'all see the salmon? Ay, 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 ay. Y'all see the salmon? I see it. I don't know if y'all see the salmon, but. I see it. Just saying. And there's like juice all in here. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. All right, baby. We gotta make the sugar. Part. All right. So let me. Okay. Just start. Oh. I mean, I'll be done by the time you have to pour. Because I had to put it. All right. All right. So all of my ingredients I'm putting to the side, and I'm gonna let George come and take over. Yes, please. I think it's a combination of trust, undeveloped social skills, and fear of rejection. Let me see. Fear of rejection, yes, for me. Um. I feel like I have pretty good social skills when I'm put in a situation. And that's why I'm an introverted extrovert. You put me in a situation, you put me on live, I got this boom. But after, it's just like, you know? Right, first, but, um, first, but, when you finish, when you finish. Trust is, is trust and fear of rejection for me. Where's the IG badge so we could send you money? What is that? Teach me. I want coin. <laughs> Where, where is it? How, on, do you, how do we do these things? On, is it for on. like the influencers with a certain amount of people or is it for little people it's like me? It's for the people of God. Okay. You wanna... <laughs> <laughs> you matter of fact, you can, you can pin it and tell you. No, he's talking about the badge where it's just like it can oh. thing. Alright. Let George move Hold over. Go. I'm actually going to turn it just a little bit. But what I want to do first... You wanna know what I'm gonna do first? What? This is a new tradition. Who's? Here you go. Are we taking shots? We taking shots. Why? Because that's what the bartender said. So you no, know, boom, I went to the liquor store and they had some some um tequila that said Clearly. Great. He said George has some of that peach margarita already. Not yet. Do y'all see said. hold on, do y'all see the, the personality difference? But believe me, when I'm with my girls, we turn up. Just saying, but he's just a little bit. He's just a little bit more than me. All right, all right. Got with you more, cause. And would y'all believe that when people met him, they thought he was the quietest person? So. You want that? No. Got to do for real. We from Mexico, baby. We're not. All right. <laughs> but Cheers. I don't know if you guys taking shots. We'll put the shots in the next, comments. Next, next, next time um, live, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it together. But put the shots. I need to see the shots in the comments before we take the shot. Come on, guys. I gotta hype me up. 
Y'all gotta hype me up because I know I'm about to have the craziest face right now. <laughs> all right. Now I, nah, I need to see a couple shots. I need to see a couple shots before I do this. All right. Because he out here don't know what this man problem is. Trying to have a nice night. Yes, clearly. Clearly. Oh, that's enough. I that's it. That. Let's get it. Cheers. Ooh, it's actually good. It's actually, it's amazing. Yeah, it's not bad. Tastes like something I ate before. What? Like it's Mexican joint. It really tastes Mexican. It's, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a 40 proof. I mean, it's 40% alcohol. So this is the new one. Because he's not using um thing tonight. He's, he's using Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack. Original Mexican style. It tastes yeah. Mexican. With a Mexican man face on it. It Oof. is said make the perfect Oof. margarita. My chest. All right, permiso. <laughs> Go make it sugar, man. I didn't eat. So, all right. Oi. Okay. Make it shit right, yeah. You just let me set you up. You have your stuff. And I'm going to pull that back so they can see you. Right. You have your drink. What else do you need, baby? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this. I'm going to Alright. You and this accent with me. cannot. It's over you. Alright. Do what you do, baby. All right, boom. So we got a couple of ingredients. Where's some the sugar? Oh, behind okay. you. All right. So we got some triple set. This is um orange liqueur. We got some tequila. You can use whatever tequila you want, but this was a good deal, and I want to taste it, so I scooped it up. We got some peach goya juice. Normally I do the fresh limes, but I was being lazy, so we got that. You feel me? Why are you being lazy? The fresh lime is there. Use some fresh lime. I gotta go line. get more. <laughs> all right, it's all right, fine, fine. It's fine. I'll right, be gonna use it up till I need some more, all right? All right, so boom. Um, what's going on? The bartender's in the building. Right, y'all favorite part of the show. The bartender's in the building. Y'all favorite part of the show because oh. y'all be showing him more yeah, love. Act like my food is there popping. Your food popping, but, but the drink make it better. Or whatever. How about you just get a drunk with no food? All right, whatever, whatever. First, we're going to add some ice. You're going to add some ice first in the shaker, shaker. Um, all right, we're going to leave like that. Then... We're going to open up this peach nectar. We're going to put a cup of that in there. Cup of this peach nectar. I'm about to do it right. Again, we're making margaritas. Peach margarita. Peach margarita. Peach margarita. All right. We're going to do four tablespoons of this tequila. But you know, I got heavy hands, so you know, one, two, three, okay, four. Y'all was watching? Who loves margarita? Y'all was like, watching? Like, they love a margarita. What's I'm actually your favorite drink? So far, mm -hmm. we made rum punch, we've made sangrias, we made, um, we made this? Yeah. We're gonna um, do, we hold made... On. We're going to do four limes, what well, four made? tablespoons. Uh, we made coquito. Coquito. We're making margarita. What is your favorite drink? They said that was like 10. Pour 8. Look, y'all remember last time? Y'all had him pouring shots on shots on shots. We're not doing that today. Alright? The man needs self-control. Self okay? <laughs> <laughs> this man needs self-control. Listen, I gotta take out one of these ices. Because the way I was on the heavy hand. But that man needs self-control. I gotta take out one of these ices. Because... Listen, you gotta be free when you pour in the liquor. All right, this orange liqueur, we're gonna do four of those bad boys too. One, two, three, four. Listen, just watch what I do. All right, we're gonna cover that up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so then again, so what I did was I did, oh, you see why wifey get down? So what I did, I did um, eight tablespoons. I did a cup. I did, well, one lime, but four tablespoons of lime. And what else? Oh, and I'm sorry, 
four, yeah, four tablespoons of lime and four of the orange liqueur. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. And then we're gonna give it a nice little. All right, we got shake, our sugar shake, rim. Shake. I know people put salt on their rim. We're not those type of people. I like sugar, sugar. Excuse so, me. So yeah. All right, go ahead, baby. All right, let me Sorry. get the couple of lime at the bottom. Mmm, tastes so good. Excuse me. Bro, I need you to talk for the extroverts in the room, please, and thank you. What's the red thing on the cup? That's some a sugar. Sugar with a little bit of uh, food coloring. A, a nice little sugar rim. All right, so I have to mix it up. Why you didn't put it on the, the thing? On the top? On the side, yeah. No, no one. Okay. We'll put it in there too. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your groove thing. All right, we good. Shake your, I thought I was supposed to oh. shake my groove thing. Shake your groove thing. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Up. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up the whole groove part of it. All right. You ready for this? Yes, Let baby. Let me get some um, paper towels on the thing. I don't want it to drip. Okay. Just a little bit. All I need is a little bit. A, a little, little bit, bit of this. this. A little bit, bit of that. Bit. All right. And you pour that up. Ooh. That look good. This look real good. Some more? No, put it in the other. Yeah. That looks so good. Fuego, 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 fuego. And oh that made God. exactly All right. two cups. You dig them? All right. For dinner for two. Dinner for two. These are margaritas. And go. now, what I'm going to do, we are going to plate our loaded salad. And we are done for the night. Come to Florida and cook for me. I would love to. I would love to. Food and flour. You know I would love to. Right. Next time I come, let me the know what you want. Is done. Right. So done uh, we're gonna cheers after. Let's think. Cause you be ready to drink. He drinks the entire drink and then that's it. But we know it's good. We know it's good. Henny margarita is lit also. Thank you. Look, thank you. This man. That's okay. Nice. Give me the two plates. Wash this out for me. There you go. Alright, so. We have our margaritas. You guys can see it. Let me put it to the side. All right, let me show you all of the components of our loaded salad because our time is almost up, guys. So, like I said, we had salmon. Let me turn this back. We had salmon. We have chipotle aioli. We have street corn. I couldn't make no, that I just, I, I just want oh, how they can make it. Well, if you really want to make it, you gotta go to lovebirdskitchen.com. And the recipe should be there. If not, it's gonna be there shortly. We have pico de gallo. I drink good. Oh, it's good. You taste it. I a little swiggle. You <laughs> could. That was left in there. And it was really good. It was so good. Yeah. So good. It's really good. And we have our chips. Our, our, our corn chips. Make sure it's corn, not the regular ones. Get get corn. Corn chips. All right, and this is for my pescatarians. This is for like, you don't have to eat meat. It doesn't have to be no no chicken on the salad. You could do that too if you want to. But um, fish is always the way to go. So let me, let me play. We're gonna play. You can't say you ain't losing weight eating this. I'm telling you. All right. The weight loss race to Christmas, you heard. Let me put my plate right here. I want you guys to see. Can you guys see the plate? All right, so we're gonna start with our salad. As soon as Ben finished wash the salad, make sure, guys, salad, right? make sure you wash your salad. You don't know what's in there. Do you it's cater salad. kids' parties, guys? Listen, I what? Talk to me nice. I officially don't cater anymore, but I feel like I would do it for people that I like. Exactly. So we can talk, boo. Talk off. <laughs> we we off we, the we can talk. Um. Ben. Yeah. All right. So we have our kale salad, right? It has cabbage in there. It has the carrots, right? So it already has all the good stuff. Kale, yeah. All right. So that is our base. We have kale salad. All right. 
I mean, if you want to eat it like this, you can. Like I said, I prefer this over like romaine dry salad. I am not uh, an animal that just grazes. So then what we're going to do. Put some craisins and walnuts. We're going to do oops, a handful of craisins and walnuts. Okay, we're getting everything in here. Yo. It's loaded. I'm it's loaded, a, baby. I'm going to need a bigger plate. Okay, craisins and walnuts. What should, we, what should we put next, right? I'm thinking I want to put our corn next. So, mm -hmm. where's my spoon, babe? Mm -hmm. You put it. Look where you put it. No, <laughs> I had another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, right there. Right. So, next we are going to put... Some delicioso corn. Oh, man. We are gonna put our delicioso corn. Our corn all over this because I personally love corn and this street corn is to die for. I'm not lying. Uh, Anybody else love corn? Like drop some corn inside of the, the chat if you're like obsessed with corn like I am. Right? So we have the corn all over there, right? Loaded. Mm -hmm. Then what we're gonna do. Hmm. Now, I'm going to add some salmon, some salmon chunks. That's it. What you need? What you need? What you need? Okay. Can I taste it? <sighs> okay. Pretty please. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. He's so dramatic. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Come on, tight. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, my now, tight. My tight. we are going to put some good old salmon chunks. I like my salmon like I like my women. Fresh. This is what I live with. This is what I have to oh. deal with. <laughs> constantly. Constantly. Mm. Thank you, Anthony. He had corn today. All right. So, like I said, we're going to put our salmon and put a good couple pieces on there. Is that enough piece? I'll take it this time. Can you wait till the show is over? No? There's no waiting? Okay. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to put... Some good pieces of salmon on there. Right? We're still loading up. Be nice. We're still loading Don't up. Talk that all. Then I'm thinking. All right, we have our tortilla chips. Right? This is the this is the taco part. We're gonna crush it up. And we're going to yeah, we're going to add that all in between. Right? Right, we're loaded, right? Do, do you guys like when your food touches? I feel like, would this be cringy to a person who doesn't like, um, like, a bunch of, like, food touching and stuff? Like, is this making you cringe? Huh? Huh? All right. Then, I'm going to go ahead. Looking real delicioso. It's looking real good. Like, real, real good. Gonna add some pico de gallo on top, right? You making my plate too? No, you are gonna make your own plate. Damn, mama. We are gonna do that. Damn, mama. Yo, what are you on tonight? You're clearly on. I'm something. on another level. All the way up. And you can stay up. I've learned patience in marriage. Um. Done. Right? We're not stopping. We're not finished? All right. So, what, you what got, we have? What you got? We got kale salad. We got... What thumbs up? Oh, I think it's just playing thumbs up. I don't want you. All right. We got, we got kale salad. And then we got some cranberries and some nuts. And then we have what? Some cotija, cheese corn, some street corn. Mm -hmm. And then we got some salmon. I lost count. And then, <laughs> and then we got some tortilla chips. Gallo. Then we got some pico de gallo. And then, last. hold oh, on, not, no, not last, not hold last. Up. You said it right? was loaded, right? We got some Kobe Jack, Kobe and, Jack. and cheddar cheese. Kobe Jack and cheddar cheese. Right, just a little bit. A little bit of this. Little just a little bit, bit. right? And then. Uh oh, the final, the final, the finishing and touch. And then. We're going to just drizzle. Mmm. Mmm. This chips is good. Mm hmm. Wow. We're going to drizzle. Wow. We're going to drizzle. Taco Sunday. 
lives, babe. He's really on one. Watch the other lives. He's Taco not like Sunday. A, all right. You know what? And we can, yeah. We got to put some sour cream. Who loves sour cream on top? Taco Sunday. Right? We're going to put some, a, a nice little dollop. You know what? I'm excited to eat healthy. Right? This Big makes, like, this, this makes know, you excited. Be a salad. Right. I'm excited for this loaded salad, you heard? All right, we're going to put a little dollop. Just a little, right? You can add more if you want to. And then on that dollop. A little sprinkle out of parsley. But you got to know I got to sprinkle it, right? How? I got to do it like salt bay? Like salt bay. I gotta do it like. You see that? Ew. <laughs> but, no, he it, like it goes off the. Yeah, we just gotta cuff it. All right. Anyways, you put a little. Like that. All right, I'll and then we later. put a little bit. Who chow? And there it goes. There it goes. Let me move Ooh, everything out of the way. Right. Give me a paper towel. Let me clean up. Let me clean up. You look presentable. Oh man! Wait, hold on. I hope y'all not gonna judge my my salt bay little sprinkle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell about herself. Don't do that. Tell about herself. All right. So guys, I don't know if y'all can see what's they happening can't see here. It, girl. All right. Hold on. Let me let me give y'all a lucky, a little lucky look. Now I'm looking at the boobies. What's wrong with you, sir? Hey, your smell. All right. Put the drinks with it. And this is a loaded. Is your loaded salad? Mm. If you're doing a salad, yes, sir. This is how you do your salad. Okay, guys. Taco Tuesday. Taco. It's on Tuesday. Sunday. Let people know that this is how we do Taco Tuesday now. Got to put them okay? together. I gotta finish in touch. So now we're gonna put our drink with it. Like, does this not look like a really good meal? Of course it does. Like, let me know. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Y'all gotta see this one. What you doing back there? It's my song. <laughs> that is not your song. You don't even know that song. <laughs> you don't even know that song. I'm a Mexican brother in Mexico. Are you not playing no more music? Look, watch me get copywritten because nah, I can not play too much. We over here, but um, could make it too, too good. Guys, how we feel? How hey, we feel, I feel about, about our this loaded salad? Our, our loaded salmon taco salad. And we're done. The peach margarita and the peach margarita. Like you did that, babe. We did that, babe. Can we taste it, or should we take a picture first? I should have made another one. Yeah, because you oh, want to drink, right? I'm sh I'm sure quick. it's really good, right but y'all know I gotta take my picture. George is on one tonight. I know I'm Who not said bugging. That? Who said I that? know that I'm not bugging. Who said that? Who said that? Don't worry about it. What you gonna you gonna Who jump? Side through? is you on? You gonna jump through the screen? Damn, Skippy. Yo, he's on one. I don't know what drug he took at work, but he is on one tonight. Nobody take no drug. What you looking for? <laughs> like Put my stuff so I can make crack. another drink. Crack is the drug. I'm on. You know what? I'm it high. On life. On love. Oh, right, um, uh, don't do it. <laughs> don't. Do that spot, baby. No. <laughs> but um, I can't. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Yo, we got a little freaky little bird XXX. Yo, follow us on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even paying attention to what you're Bird, saying. X, X, X. Yeah, but you know uh, what? Dash, what I want to do, X, X, X. and what we're actually look. Besides his nonsense that he's going on with, uh, what, I, what we are gonna do before um, we always eat our meals, I want to start praying because I feel like that is what we do, and for some reason. Not bird X, X, X. Look, the people are not even going to receive what I'm trying to say right now. Listen. You are your bird it's X, okay X, X, X. Mary. But, um, let's pray over this meal really quick. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the hands who made it. 
I thank you for always providing for us and allowing us to do this. I thank you for everybody that's on this live right now that is watching. Um, I am thank you that we could entertain them. I don't know what they're going through, but I pray that it was a blessing towards them, dear Lord, and that they're inspired by anything that happens in this show. So I just thank you for everything that you're doing in my life and in your life. And we pray that this is going to be a good meal. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, but yeah, y'all on y'all, y'all XXX. <laughs> and we got the song playing every time we on the on the um, only fans. Wait, can we not get copywritten? <laughs> can we that not? was a, a little bit of the music. All right, but yeah, how y'all feel about our meal tonight? Does it look good? Show some love. Throw some, some hearts love, in there. Um, drop whatever emoji you want to. Drop some tacos. Beep, 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 beep. Drop some salmon. Drop some everything, guys. We are done. This was quick and easy. Y'all know that we only ran time because we like to we like to talk. We like to chat to you guys. But this meal, honestly, I would say would take probably like 30, 30 to. 40 yeah, minutes fast, because so. of prep time, right? Mm -hmm. Prepping your pico de gallo and things like that. Yeah. But um, this is an easy meal. It is fairly quick. Yeah, and when I tell you, it's going to taste it's gonna be good. amazing. It's going to be good. Like, it's amazing. It's a good, a good Anyone's time. joining, um, last minute, loaded taco. No, loaded salmon taco salad. We got everything in here. And so many components. Peach margarita. And a peach margarita. I'm, I'm not forgetting you, babe. Uh, I'm not forgetting you. But yes. So come, let's say bye to the people. Let's thank them for joining us tonight. You know when we're going to taste it? I'm going to, after this, I'm going to taste it on our stories because I want to take pictures. It looks so good. Um, let me know. Were you guys inspired by this meal? Would this be a salad that you... That you choose to make in the future, let me know. Yeah. All right. So, I thank you guys again for joining us tonight. Thank we you, had fun. You. The conversation was good. You guys showed up and showed out. We made an amazing meal. And what are we making next week, then? They gotta stay tuned. Do you know? Also, in the future, I have a collab. A next week is our last one. No, do we have two Sundays left? I don't know. We might, we might have two Sundays left, but I'll let you guys know um, I love my mamas, and my mamas are busy, and we're going to need meals around year-round to get our kids fed, to still do what we got to do. So I'm going to collab with an amazing mom on a very quick meal that we could get in and out the kitchen, get our babies fed, get back to work, get back to being a boss. So stay tuned for that collab that is coming. Um, I'm not going to reveal who the person is yet, but, like, she is a boss mom. Okay? She is a whole entire boss. Okay? But, um, so, that collab is next. We are going to figure out what we are going to make next week, but it's going to be healthy. What about, like, zucchini boats? You want to do a zucchini Listen, boat? They got to tell us. What's up? Yeah, any what, yeah, any suggestions before we log off? What do you guys want to see that's on the healthier side um, oh, of all of this? Dope? What? Yeah, uh, your peppers. Ooh, like some stuffed peppers? Ooh, yes. No, but I feel like stuffed peppers is just peppers, but it might have like starchy stuff in it. Cause I like, usually stuff with potato and cheese. That's no, not like do so healthy. Flour. Rice, so you make yeah, cauliflower rice? I can make like a cauliflower rice pepper bowl. Shh. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Literally, these things just, they just come to us. We don't necessarily plan, but we should, right? Just be a little bit more organized. Anyways, thank you guys for joining Sunday Dinner with the Lovebirds. We appreciate you guys coming tonight, and we will see you next week. And um, go to my story, and you'll see us taste all this goodness and, um, and our reactions for that. Oh, by the way, before I literally, like, sign off, follow me on TikTok. I will no longer be posting regular videos on Instagram. We're done. Instagram has disrespected me too much. So follow me on TikTok. I'll post the pictures of what I posted on TikTok and that's how that will go. But yeah, so I am done. Thank you guys for joining and we will see you guys next week. <laughs> Peace out. Y'all, I gotta go sober, sober this man up because clearly drugs. <laughs> I don't like that's what it does to me. Okay.